A new report highlights the intense pressure on young women to share nude photos of themselves. Researchers at Northwestern University analyzing nearly 500 stories on an anti cyber bullying and sexting campaigns website. Two thirds of girls aged 12 through 18 said that they had been asked for explicit images. Researchers say the girls face persistent requests, anger, and threats from boys to send them those images. Psychologist and CBS News contributor Lisa Demore writes about the study this morning in a New York Times article called Teenagers Stop Asking for Nude Photos. She says it's time to, quote, recalibrate some of the toxic norms that have been taken hold among teens. So what this research article documented is that when girls say no, um, they are often then pressured. They're asked repeatedly. They sometimes face harassment. They sometimes face threats. They're sometimes cut off from relationships. That this has been going on among teenagers for a while. I really respect these researchers for bringing it to light. Um, it is something I hear about from the teenagers I work with. Um, but it's something that teenagers and teenage girls have largely, largely dealt with alone. Well, I think there's lots of ways it ends. One is obviously bringing it to light. I think the other thing is we've made a practice of saying to teenagers, don't send nude photos. Like, this is something adults are saying. We have not made a practice of saying, don't ask for nude photos. Right. And so one of the important things we need to do at this point is we need to recalibrate that norm and set rules around this. Well, so I think what we need to say to our kids, whether we're in the role of schools or parents, is we need to say, look, don't send nude photos. It puts you in an awkward position personally, socially, maybe legally, and we are saying that so far. Then we need to say, don't ask for nude photos. It puts somebody else in right. a terrible position mm -hmm. to do so. DeMore says the problem is starting before the teen years, and a conversation like this may have to happen as soon as you give your child a phone.